This is an overview of Chalkable Classroom's feed. When you log in to Chalkable Classroom, you'll notice that the first thing that you see is the feed. You'll notice that I currently have all of my classes selected here, so I see the feed for everything that I have left to do. You'll notice that the default uh, is to do so that th these show me the things that I have left to do that are in my feed, whether those are lesson plans or graded activities in my gradebook or items that I've created. If I click on all, you'll notice that there are items that are um, to do items, and then you'll notice that there are some that have been marked as done. This, can, this item will conclude all of the items that are in my gradebook for all of my classes, and I can look at to do. And to mark an item done, I just select it and make this orange, and now it becomes done. And when this page refreshes, it will no longer show up on the to-do screen. It will actually show up on the all screen. I'm going to focus for just a few minutes on a particular class and their feed. Looking at my math grade 7 class, you'll notice that I have some items that are green and red or all green and then I have some items that are not. Those items that have green and red lines indicate that those are lesson plans. And it indicates to me at this particular item that I should be 73% through based on the dates that I set up for this particular item. This particular item down here is a lesson plan as well and you'll notice that it should it's 100% so I should have completed that so I may need to mark that as done to move it over to the all feed. The other thing that appears here is the feed tools. And you can turn that off and on by using this feed tool button over on the right hand side. You can look at earliest to latest uh, either way or latest to earliest. You can look at particular types. So if I want to look at lesson plans only, I can select that or I can look at activities only those items that are in the grade book like classwork and test and homework, or I can look at all. And I can look at a particular timeline if I wanted to go back to look at first grading period for this particular class, second grading period, etc. And if I have a lot of items that I know that I've done, I can say mark any item that's older than 30 days, for example, as done. Giving you the ability to use those tools. Also, please take note of the items that are over here on the right hand side. If you see a paper clip or a gem clip over here on the right hand side, that indicates that this item has something attached to it. And the, this item with the eyeball with the line through it indicates that it is not visible to students. So as you're setting up items, uh, and we'll cover new items in a separate video, you'll be able to select what things you want students to be able to see and whether or not you want to attach items to it. Also in the feed tools, you have the ability to print so just by clicking on the button here, I can select a particular date range. I can show hidden activities, only lesson plans, uh, and I can select uh, uh, attachments or hidden attributes. Uh, so I do have a, download, a range of things that they download to a PDF, and then I can print that out if I need to. Thanks for watching this instructional video on Chalkable Classrooms Feed. For more information, visit us on the web at www.chalkable.com.